I know what every guy's thinking. Jugs, gorgeous face, but just keep something in mind. She's as crazy as the all the others. Yeah. When is it okay to approach? I think it's okay to approach a woman and at least try to approach a woman. If they're out there, go make you try to make you him, me making breakfast when he gets home is what's retaining my retaining my relationship. It's and you don't really know what's going to make a good wife anymore, what's going to make a good feminine woman anymore, because that's seen as oppressive. Nigga, what? Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description, but can you do me a favor, hit the notifications button right now. All right, guys, I got about four videos for you today. The first video is going to be a woman explaining when is the best time to approach a woman. And I think her answer is going to be kind of shocking because another woman comes behind her and actually gives the truth. The next video is going to be a high value woman who is married and she breaks down what keeps her relationship together. Even though she's a high value woman, she still has a man that she's committed to. The next video is going to be Kaya. And this is a video where an ex-girlfriend calls him after he has became a star on YouTube. And he does what the average guy is going to do after he comes up. The, na the last video is going to be Sneeko. Breaking down to a woman how she has been manipulated into thinking that men and women are equal, which is one of the mistakes that modern women are going to face in their life as they get older and they have problems finding love. First, let's get to the video where a woman explains when is the best time to approach a woman. When is it okay to approach? I think it's okay to approach a woman and at least try to approach a woman if they're out and about, like they were going to a bar, going to a club. But I, like you said, I would definitely not try to approach a woman if they're like at a grocery store or something like that. That's just not a time to do that because we're just living our life. If either of you were looking for a quality man, where would you expect to find one? I think a grocery store would be mm. prime. Wait a minute. We don't want that to happen. Like we're just... Just because we're there in a public space doesn't mean that we are approachable to date you. All right. The girl right here is the type of girl that you can get a one night fling from. All right. After a couple of drinks, she wants you to approach her right when she's good and zesty. All right. She's for the streets. Now, you notice the other girl who's kind of wholesome, who's kind of looking kind of soft spoken. This woman says the grocery store. Now, I've mentioned in previous videos that the best place to meet a woman is going to be the grocery store because typically that's when a woman notice how lonely she is. What do I mean? Single girls are lonely when they're shopping by themselves and they look up and see families and they look up and see kids. It actually makes a woman lonely to be walking around shopping by herself. And typically that's the best time to pick up a woman is at grocery stores, is at department stores, even Walmart, because those are places that remind her that she is alone when she starts to see other families when you're dealing with the single girl at the beginning that says don't approach her in the grocery store this is the type of girl who will be walking around the grocery store with her headphones on but looking at her cell phone and she'll still be getting the cell phone filled with different guys that's what you're looking at here the girl that's for the streets the girls that's for the streets are going to always have men that are constantly trying to approach them she wants to be approached in public because that's where it counts she wants to be approached in front of everyone to make herself feel special and she wants to be approached so she could reject you to make herself feel even more special so understand the girls for the streets, they're going to want you to try to approach them in public so they can reject you in front of everybody and make themselves feel special like they some type of celebrity. But the good girls, they want to be approached in common areas like the grocery store, department store, parks, and places where it's actually mutual because you get the real them. Now you see, two different women will ask the same questions and got two different responses. You got a woman that's for the streets and you got a woman who's not for the streets. You have to learn to spot the two. If not, you will have relationship problems. Next video is going to be a high value woman on the Fresh and Fit podcast breaking down. And this is a female Forbes listers. 
All right, and she's gonna be breaking down what keeps her relationship together, even though she makes a lot of money. As a woman who makes seven figures, like my money does not retain my relationship, like my ability to. There you go. If he gets home at six a.m., me making breakfast when he gets home is what's retaining my retaining my relationship. It's never been my ability to. I'm on. I'm a Forbes lister, top of my game, but that that doesn't retain my relationship. Me cooking from scratch three times a day retains my relationship Ooh, and okay. retains me going on three, three times a day <laughs> yes week? from scratch i was on food network but like me being able to cook me being able to upkeep our home and like putting labels on everything doing weirdo organizing shit is what's retaining my relationship it's, not weird. it's, it's fantastic <laughs> yeah. and she's right because that's what a man wants regardless of how much money you make but you have to understand that you're going to have very rare women that have this mindset Women that have this mindset are taught this mindset by a man. For her to hit the Forbes list this early in life, she has been guided by a man. A man has been giving her advice. Chances are it's her dad. One thing about alpha males, when they raise their daughters, they raise their daughters to still be submissive because an alpha male who's definitely on top of his game knows what a real man's going to want out of a woman. The guy who raises their daughter to be like a man, act like a man, say, oh, you don't need a man. I'm going to teach my daughter how to be masculine. I'm going to teach my daughter to be the son that I always wanted. You're just going to send her down the LGBT road. A woman has to be taught what a real woman is. A mother has to show her daughter how to be a mother. You have to understand only smart women can get married. Because smart women do not try to overpower the man. And that's the main ingredient whenever it comes to a relationship. But if you are a woman raised by a single mother and your mother's been telling you since the age two, three, four, five, six, since a little girl, since a little teenager that you don't need a man. Well, guess what? That's part of your neurological system. No matter what you do with your life, you would never be able to be in a relationship because your subconscious mind says you do not need a man. It's like you're saying it out of your mouth, but you mean something else. But from you saying it out of your mouth, that's the type of energy you're going to get. Majority of women who don't need a man always find themselves pregnant and becoming a baby mother. You would think for a woman not to need a man, why do you still want his sperm just to get rid of him? put yourself in debt, struggle to prove that you do not need a man. It's all psychological, which is why you guys have to learn to spot her dysfunctionality early when you meet her instead of spotting it six months down the road after the sex has died out. Next video is going to be Kaya breaking down. Let's get to it. He ain't breaking nothing down. I've been good. What made you try to? What made you call me out of nowhere? The last time you texted me was in 2020. <laughs> I've been busy. I just wanted to call you. I can't call you now. Nah, I'm up now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it be. That's how it be for you, young cats. That's how it be. I remember when I was young, man. I was like 18 years old, about to graduate from high school, and I liked this college girl. But at that time, I didn't have a good car. But when I graduated from high school, she was already in college. But when I graduated from high school, went off into the military and then came back around and she saw me in my new car. She was trying to holler at the kid. I didn't really do it. I went on and hit it. And then after I hit it, I told her I ain't want to deal with it no more. But that's just some things that you guys are going to do when you're younger. Once you elevate yourself, you look at the old you and it's good to laugh at the old you. But one thing about women back then, they don't know you when you hot. They will know you. They're going to always practice hypergamy and you're going to always practice the better woman. Last video going to be Sneeko breaking down why men and women are not equal. Let's get to it. The, the, the main. Can I explain to you why, why you all think this and why this girl boss mentality has been it's brainwashing right you? Now. It's, like it's a thing, thing because all of you are on Instagram. All of you are on TikTok all day long. All of you listen to City Girls and Meg Thee Stallion and listen to Cardi B and you worship these like Kim Kardashian type girls who are just professional hoes. And you thought that those are high value women, but really all of them are just bad wives. And he's absolutely, absolutely right. They are bad wives. They're bad people because they bought the bug. They bought the agenda. What does that mean? 
they were doing all this for free. And then you have bigger corporations that come along and bigger labels. And they say, continue to do the same thing over and over again. And we'll give you millions of dollars to literally do it all over again. So what happens is when you look at these celebrities, they're getting paid because this is what women like looking at. They're not necessarily saying, act like this so little girls follow it. They're saying, hey, everyone gravitates towards this. So we're going to pay you to continue to act like this thought box over and over again. It's just that once people start emulating the celebrity lifestyle, they normally go broke trying to pretend to be a celebrity. This is where women make the mistake at because women live in themes. Women live in delusion. So a woman who's working a nine to five would take her entire check and blow it on something that she think a celebrity would do just to get the feel of being a celebrity. You have to understand, poor people are going to buy things that make them look rich. Rich people are going to do things to keep you from looking at them. Celebrities are just bots that's there to push agendas for the rich people. But the women don't get it. And the reason why they don't get it is because they feel good listening to a lie. Majority of the world wants to hear a lie because it's entertaining. The truth is what hurts. And you don't really know what's going to make a good wife anymore, what's going to make a good feminine woman anymore, because that's seen as oppressive. And feminism has done that and has brainwashed all of you. What do you believe? You're He's right. He's right. If you try to be a guy that runs a relationship that she's going to look at it as I'm oppressed or you can't boss me around. You're not a this. You're not that. I'm telling you guys, girls are good for just in the bedroom now. So don't be shy to try to get in the sheets. What you have to do is just not try to be with them. Like, look at the average black woman. They have sex with guys that are not good enough to marry. And you want to know the sad part about it? They will actually tell you that. That they give their sex to the guy they don't want to marry. And then the guy they marry just don't get sex. It's always like that. It's best to just not even get married. Once you get married, it's over. You're don't a high you class think man. that men became more feminine and as a result, women exactly. became more masculine? Thank you, yes, Sam. That's, that's the right. part. Yes. They're right. trying to feminize yeah. men and masculinize women. But, but, and we're seeing it all on this podcast. But, but it, it all, really the, the, the main antagonist in all this was was feminism though because what feminism basically did was tell women that men and women are the same and we're well, equal and we're not and we're not. and we're not i mean uh, no offense to you know miss redress over there but she said something along we can both be ceos well that's, that's the bullshit. mindset that many modern day women have she's right he's right he's right he's right the sad part is all of it's backfiring what do i mean see it's easy for women to continue to act i'll probably say masculine and the reason why they're acting masculine is because it's easy for them to act masculine when you have 80% of guys who are feminine in the West. When you're constantly surrounded by feminine men, you're going to act masculine because it makes you feel tough. But one thing that the, every woman is doing, when they get around an alpha male, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to act. Because they're so used to guys adjusting to their emotions and to everything that comes out of their mouth. When they get to a guy who who's in reactive to them, they lose their mind. They don't know what to do and they gravitate towards him anyway. When you could be a man that gives a woman the truth and you don't allow her words to, to change who you are, then she does. you have control over her. The moment you get around a woman and you continue to run your mouth and you show you like her, you've just given up all the power. Hopefully you guys are able to get the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.